Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we are doing another episode of Object Review. So if you remember last episode, um, you guys seem to really, really like it by the looks of the comments. There's a lot of positive feedback, a lot of people wanted this to become a series, so that is exactly what we're doing. So let's take this as the first actual episode since last episode was just a demo, but yeah. First actual episode of this series, so yeah, like um, I said last episode as well, if you want to send in objects for this series, I have now created a special chat for it in my Discord server, link in the description, so you can go ahead and join that, and there's a whole chat dedicated for this series, so free objects, any free objects you like, send them in in one simulation by themselves, and then I'll do it for an episode um, once I get around to doing it, so um, yeah, there we are, so let's just get straight into it, so yeah, we've got three more from Anonymous today, because he's the only one who's really sent them in so far. So let's go ahead and see what he has got for us here. So these are looking, these are looking pretty fine already. So um, for test screening, okay. So there we go. Right here we are. Okay. So these all look tinted this time round. So instead of having the like the crazy cloud objects last episode, we've got three tinted objects, and these actually look quite similar to some I actually have myself. Um, but yeah, these are looking fabulous. I mean, look at the tint on that. It's almost got like yellow oceans on it this time with a white atmosphere white clouds looking very amazing we've got the yellow lights i love the yellow city lights that's probably one of my favorite tinted colors for lights that looks amazing then we also have um ashy and prime here which is looking really cool as well similar atmosphere color theme but underneath it looks like it is tinted purple you can see the ocean doesn't even look blue at all you can see the oceans are fully purple and look at that that's so cool the uh, obviously the poles are pinky purple as well but yeah look at the ocean all purple ocean really really cool i remember back in the day we used to say it was impossible that you to change the color of the oceans but with tinting it is possible so yeah look at that it's got pink city lights there as well they're not the most visible maybe if we move the planet around we can see them a bit more you can see there's some lights there but since it's mostly ocean the lights aren't the most visible but yeah we've got our pink lights there looking really really fine and then lastly we've got et nova prime here which is a green one here so has this got city lights let's see any any lights on the sky now doesn't look like it has but yeah rolling with a green atmosphere with an orange looking surface underneath so yeah there we go there right okay on to each individual individual object now here we have um, the first one, so there's a Jeddah Prime here. Really like the desert ocean look to it, is what I'm getting from this, like the desert-like um, colours underneath there. Very like rocky, sandy colours, similar to like Mars um, there with the yellow ocean. Really, really adds a nice effect of a dusty sand world, I guess, right there with some oceans. And yeah, there's that. It's actually quite similar to one of my own objects, actually. Let me just uh, get a comparison with it, just to compare. So it's... um. What whereabouts is it? It is trying to locate it. Um, yeah, this one here. It's quite similar to this guy, actually, apart from the atmosphere colour being yellow on this one. It's got the similar city lights at the back, I noticed, but they're a lot more bright and vibrant, which looks really cool. But yeah, it reminded me of my object I have there. So yeah, here is this one. So yeah, out of 10, definitely an 8 or 9 out of 10, I have to say, for this one. 8 out of 10, I'd say. Because, yeah, the white atmosphere, I reckon it would look better yellow, if you ask me. But that's just my personal preference. But I reckon it would look slightly better as, like, a golden orange. Something, like, something around there, maybe, instead of the white atmosphere. I don't, I'm not sure if the white entirely fits in with the surface colour and the ocean underneath. But I know it, um, it's his personal preference to have um, the white atmosphere. So, yeah, everyone can have what they um, think looks good. But, yeah, that's just what I'd say. So, I'll give it an 8 out of 10 for this one. But moving on to the purple one now. Now, this is where it really good. 10, 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10, I'd say for this one. The white atmosphere works really well with the purple, I think, and, and the pink underneath. I think that looks really good and is definitely the strongest one out of the three here. That's just my preference, but I think this one is the best. And it actually reminds me of my own object, Volans, here, um, which is down here. It looks quite similar to this one, I've noticed, with the pink lights on the back as well. Definitely, um, sh There's definitely some similarities between the two similar light colours, stuff like that. This one's also rocking a purple tint underneath as well. So, yeah, there it is there. But you can see from this one, the purple tint is definitely different. This one is a lot darker than that one there. But, yeah, just um, a little uh, reference I want to sort of bring up because they do look very similar there. But, yeah, this one, I think the white looks great with the um, colours on this one. The purple and the white theme definitely works better than the yellow orange and white i think i definitely think the white definitely blends better with the purple here so yeah this one i'd definitely have to put above the yellow one for um out of 10 definitely a 9 out or 10 out of 10 for this one so yeah really really good looking there love the um 
pink um, polar caps up here as well. I think they look really, really good. Obviously, the um, blue sort of coloured surface as well. But yeah, when, when the atmosphere and the clouds really make it what it is. It really looks like a good purple planet right there. So there we go. And obviously, the city lights, don't forget about them as well. Let's get a zoom in on those as well. We've got the city lights here. I think they look fabulous in that colour as well. So yeah, there we go. So that is um, Ashian Prime. And then moving on to the green one. At Nova Prime here. Although I like green, I'm not sure if it really goes with the orange on this one. So I think out of the three, I'd definitely rate the purple one, then the yellow one, and then the green one. I don't know. I, I've always liked green atmospheres, as I said, but I'm not entirely sure it works with that coloured surface underneath. So for me, I'd say this is a 6 or a 7 out of 10, but definitely the weakest one out of these two, if you ask me. I definitely think these two are better than this one, but yeah, the purple one is the number one king for me. So yeah, you guys let me know what you think down below um, in the comments as well, but that's just my personal opinion. Obviously, you guys can all um, think what you think. Remember, it's an opinion, not a fact, so please keep that in mind. But yeah, I definitely think that the green one is the weakest out of the three here. Not saying it looks bad, but I've always loved the green atmosphere. They look really, really cool, but... Compared to this one, I mean, I think this just looks a whole lot better. So, yeah, Ashian Prime is my number one. Number two is Jeddah Prime. And then number three, Et Nova Prime for me. So, um, yeah, there we go. That is it for today's video, guys. Yeah, let me know um, which order you put these guys in. Also, a massive, massive thank you to Anonymous for sending these three in again. It's been an absolute pleasure checking these out. And, yeah, I've, um, I've actually got another one of these to pre-record as well um, from a different user, so I'll probably get around to doing that at some point and have that out um, within a week or so from this one or something like that. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. And also, yeah, like I said, massive thank you for Anonymous for sending these in. And, yeah, guys, if you want to take part, make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description. And then go to the um, channel in my discord called the um object review upload and then just drag your uh um yeah simulation file with the three planets in there and then i can get around to doing it for a video at some point so yeah that's all you need to do very simple process and yeah guys that is everything so let's see if we can go 30 likes for today's video or episode two of this series for these awesome looking planets and yeah guys subscribe if you're new as well helps on the journey to 9,000 subscribers and i'll see you in the next video have a great day and goodbye